back to Quarantine Baseball. I've got Trib out here in the yard. We're gonna talk about how you can work on pop flies on your own, okay? So catching a pop fly is a very important part of baseball. It's a skill that you gotta learn, but also you can master for the more advanced pop flies. So the first thing you can do is by yourself, all right? First thing you can do is just work on catching the ball that you toss up to yourself. You wanna make sure you catch it with your fingers in the up position, all right? Not turn sideways, not across, just finger straight up. So let's see Trib do that real quick. He's gonna to toss it up nice and easy, make it easy for himself, that's right. Nice easy tosses, go ahead, do it again. Easy tosses. And as he gets more comfortable, he can throw the ball higher and higher into the air if he wants to, all right? And continuing to catch the ball with his glove above his head, in front of his face, not above his head, all right, in front of his face, and with the fingers pointed up. The next thing we can do is we can work, to, he can toss the ball, intentionally toss it behind himself. All right, this is a little trick here, okay? But you wanna get used to the idea that you gotta be able to turn around to go catch the ball. All right, there you go. That was perfect. That's how you can throw the ball up and work on dropping to catch the ball. And you can throw it up either direction, drop and catch the ball, okay? If you're catching to the backhand side, then it's okay to turn your glove sideways. Toss up one more behind your head, all right? He goes back and he catches the ball behind him. These are drills you can do on your own, okay? Cut it, Lucy. The next skill we're gonna work on for quarantine baseball and pop flies is requires a partner, someone who can throw a baseball to you. We're gonna work on balls that are hit over your head that you have to go back and get. So the first important skill here is the footwork. And Andrew's gonna show us what a drop step looks like. So he's in good fielding position here, and he's gonna take a drop step so he can drop. So he takes that one foot and he drops it straight behind himself or at an angle depending upon where the ball's hit. And that's his first step. His first step is backwards. Let's see another drop step. That's right. That's what a drop step looks like. So we're going to use a drop step here. I'm going to toss balls to one side or the other. Because we have a small yard, I'm, I'm going to tell him which way I'm going to th throw the ball. So I'm going to start out over here to my left, to his right. He's going to be square, like in a good fielding position. And the ball is going to go up and over his head. He's going to track it down and catch it. And we can work both sides. So now we'll work the other side. The ball is going to go over his head. He's going to go backwards, track it down, and catch it. We'll try one more time and see if make him run a little bit more on this one. All right, it's going to go over his head. He's going to track it down and catch it. Great. So the last piece here that's important is you, once you catch the ball, we want to get rid of it quickly. So just like when we field a ground ball, we bring it to midline and we get rid of the, to get rid of the ball. If we catch a fly ball, we want to bring it to shoulder for a quick transfer for throwing position. Final skill we're going to work on today in quarantine baseball is catching throws or catching a ball on the dead run. So if you're playing infield and there's a line drive hit, you might have to take a few quick steps and catch the ball coming at you really fast. Or in the outfield, you might have to run down the ball in the gap. Being able to catch the ball while you're running full speed is a very important skill. So I've got Andrew out here. We're going to almost pretend that he's a wide receiver running a crossing route. I'm going to try to hit him on the dead run. He's going to adjust the ball to his glove, make a catch on every single one of these. Go! Good. Go! Nice, that ball was a little behind him. That's okay, still caught it. Go! Good, I threw behind him again, but he still caught it. Last one, let's see your full speed, Andrew. Go! Nice catch, way on front, great job. All right, and once again, just like uh, the last video, we catch this ball, we can practice getting rid of it quickly, which he did a nice job on that, getting that ball out of his glove into his throwing hand in position to throw. A bonus drill for today that I forgot about when I was talking earlier. I want to have Andrew work on catching balls that are breaking or tailing on him. So if you can imagine a right-handed batter in the box hits a line drive at the first baseman, Andrew plays a lot of first base for us, the ball is actually going to break towards the line. That's something, that's something we get a lot of practice of on a regular basis. And we can simulate that by throwing balls to him sidearm. So I'm gonna back up a little bit. I have him about 70 feet away, and I'm gonna intentionally throw the ball sidearm or almost submarine so that he gets a sense of what it looks like for a ball to be coming at him that's gonna to tail towards the line. And he can be thinking when he has a right-handed batter in the box, if it's a line drive, he knows a line drive is gonna to break toward the line. Let's see what this looks like.
Did that break at all? Yeah, it was at the end. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so show, show them which way it broke. Show the camera which way it broke. It came this way, and then it, it broke at the very end by me. So, no, not yet. And it started turning this way. Right, and that's what you should expect will happen on a line drive that's hit by a right-handed batter at the first baseman. Likewise, if it's a left-handed batter and you're playing third base, or you're playing left field, a line driver fly ball will curve towards the line as well. 